This is Patrick Evans Hilton of Virginia Eats and Drinks, and I'm also the culinary advisor for Norfolk Fest events, and we are aboard the beautiful American Rover on the beautiful downtown Norfolk waterfront. I couldn't think of a better location to come to you to make some great cocktails. And we're standing right here in front of the gorgeous downtown waterfront uh, skyline. And this is where so much of this region's history began, including cocktail history. Did you know that not far from where we are, you can't see out of our frame here, but you know where the Dominion Tower is. Just right across from there is lot number 47. And that's where John Redwoods opened Redwoods Ordinary in 1693. And that was the first tavern in what would have been the incorporated as Norfolk Town. And so he would have had a lot of people coming and going on this Elizabeth River here and going to the market and dropping off goods and picking up goods. And they would have gone in for a bite to eat and they would have gone in for a cocktail as well. And one of those cocktails that they would have had would have been something that's familiar to us today. And that's a sangria. Now, Sangria, as we think of, as a Spanish invention, and that's true, but it also is something that has a strong tie to Virginia history as well. And so what better place to have a sangria than aboard the uh, American Rover here, which also has such a strong tie to American history, and also all of the wonderful things that they do at best events, too, that ties in with the wonderful uh, Norfolk waterfront as well. So the sangria we're going to make today is just a little bit different. I'm calling it a hospitality sangria, and I'm doing that because we're also paying homage to another one of Virginia traditions, and that's the symbol of hospitality, the pineapple. The pineapple was a symbol of hospitality going way, way back, and actually was a symbol of hospitality for the pine cone. And so when the early explorers saw the pineapple in a similar shape and appearance to a pine cone in the Caribbean, there's always been such a strong Caribbean uh, connection here in this region, they naturally associated that with the hospitality that they did with the pine cone. Plus, pineapples were exotic, and it also just kind of meant that when somebody welcomed you in their home and they had the pineapple, that they really kind of went that extra mile. Now, the Caribbean connection goes a little step further because John Redwood was from Barbados. He and his family had come over from Bristol, England. And so they were establishing sugar plantations and they were creating molasses and rum. And so uh, John Redwood came here to also kind of see what was going on. Now, he was in the rum trade. Our uh, sangria today, we're actually using uh, another early, um, uh, early, as, early, early as far as the early 21st century Virginia tradition and that's our friends at um, Reverend Spirits, R.D. Wilhelm Distillery over in the Chelsea area of Norfolk. Uh, they have a vodka, and so we've cut up a fresh pineapple, and so let this steep, let, cut it up into bite-sized pieces, and let it steep in 750 milliliters of vodka for a couple of days just at room temperature. Make sure it's all covered you know, and set it in a cool, dark area of your kitchen and just let all those beautiful flavors of the pineapple kind of steep in there. Now, this also does a couple of things because in our sangria, we're not going to add any extra sugar to ours. Sometimes people will add a simple syrup. Sometimes they will add uh, a little bit of some different flavorings to it. This is going to do all of that to ours. So I've got this beautiful, beautiful, large um, uh, glass here that we're going to pour our sangria base in it. We're going to get, make sure to get all of those pineapples. Now, what we're also going to do is to add some, this is kind of going to be a, uh, a white sangria. We're going to add some of these white grapes. Now, what you can do for a little bit extra with white grapes is you can take the white grapes overnight, poke a toothpick in them, uh, pour them some champagne or some other wine over them, and then let them sit in the freezer. But in this case, we're just going to add these. You know what's also very Virginia are strawberries. If you look on the state of, from the city seal for Virginia Beach, those leaves around the seal of Virginia Beach, those are actually strawberry leaves. Um, the, when the early settlers came here in 1607, they um, recognized the strawberry plant and they said that they were very large and delicate and, and delicate in, in flavor, much better than what they found in England. And so we're going to add some strawberries. Also overnight, you could let these set in a little bit of orange liqueur like a Grand Marnay. 
we're just going to add these. And then we love Virginia wine. And so you can also take some of your favorite crisp Virginia wine. It could be a um, it could be a Chardonnay. It could be a Riesling. You want something that's a little sweet but not overly sweet. We're going to add a couple of bottles of that. And then we've got, for effervescence, we've got just some sparkling water that we're going to add. Then we're going to stir this up a little bit. Oops. How pretty that is already. Now we've got a couple of glasses here. We're going to get some liquid in our glass. And then we're going to make sure we get some of each one of the fruits in. Make sure we get some of that pineapple. I love mint, so right before I came over, I picked some fresh mint from my garden at home. So I'm going to garnish this with mint. And then, is Tom here from the Rover? I thought it might be nice to have him try. Tom, come over here. Yes, sir. I want you to try the sangria. All right. This is Tom from the American Rover. I want him to try the sangria. Water. Oops. Right. Ah, that's all right. A little gust of wind, a little gust of wind. That's right. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really good. Look how pretty it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Gorgeous. It's got a great flavor. Yes, it's indeed. Like, well, cheers. Thank you, sir. And cheers. All right. Thank you for, so much for joining us. We're going to have more in this series from Festivus Stay at Home, and I appreciate you checking in. Again, this is Patrick Evans Hilton. I am the uh, uh, the culinary advisor for Festivus, and I'm also with uh, Virginia Eats and Drinks. So, bon appetit.